we hear all the time. People don't like to watch local news because it's nothing but bad news. We're trying to prove that wrong as often as we can. This good news story is about a young girl you first met back in 2019. Yeah, Taylor, you actually called her a young Dr. Doolittle okay. when you first met her. Hallie Vincent read to pets and shelters on a regular basis while raising funds for animal shelters right here in the Kansas City area. Now she's combining her love for books and pets in her brand new store in Shawnee, Kansas. Everyone has a story, and in this store, Hallie wants to share seven with you. Every month, we highlight seven different books. It's the reason why Hallie named her store Seven Stories. They're for kids through adults, and then you can find them in our store all month and after that. She calls it a small store with a big heart, where some of the proceeds benefit animal shelters here. Anything marked with a sticker, it, the sticker will say proceeds benefiting Kansas City Animal Shelters, and that's exactly where it goes. So it's there's no hidden percentage, really. It just it directly goes there. And Allie is used to giving back through her organization, Paws Up KC. I met her when she was just 10 years old, raising funds for these shelters, providing items pets may need, even starting a bookmobile to provide hundreds of free and used books for families. I always like to compare it to pets because you don't know what happened to them before. You don't know how that played out when you get them when you adopt them from a shelter and it's I thought it was kind of similar with books because the book had a past life when it came from the bookmobile and so it may look a little rough but it could be a really great book. The reason she gives back so much? It gives me joy, it's fun. I figured out what the word philanthropist means. I was like, well, so basically philanthropist I guess means you um, do something for someone without expecting anything in return. Now at age 13, she still has that same sentiment. I really liked the idea of that because why not help out in the community? Why not? Hallie is just incredible. There is so much in this store, all different kinds of handmade art from creators right here in the city. Also by her little sister who made these really, really cool watercolor paintings that are on these little postcards as well as journals. So the store is open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tuesdays through Sundays. The address you see is on your screen right now, and that's right near 59th and Neiman. Love that. Yeah. Did you show any of the video of her from your interview a couple of years ago to her while you were talking to her? Because I'm sure she's thinking, is that what I sounded like? We, we showed some like old school pictures yeah. when I first talked to her. It was so cute. How else can people help her other than just shopping there? Is there other ways to help out? Yeah, this this young girl is just incredible. She actually has a call to action and not just to come visit the store, yeah. but to bring animal shelter donations, to come donate books for the bookmobile and not just bring donations, but participate if you can. I, the thought of what she said there of Compare, comparing books to animal shelter pets of they've been here yeah. before may look a little rough. That's pretty strong for anybody, especially for a 13-year-old young woman. I love that story. Ray, thank you.